Hey, what? What should I try? Should I try one times nine? Okay, so now let's make sure that first works and last work, and then we'll check outer plus inner, okay? So what's 2x times x? 2x squared, got it. What's one times negative nine? Negative nine, got it. Let's check outer. What's outer? Outer is 2x times negative nine, negative 18x. Inner is one times x, what is that? X. Add them up, because look, we add them up. And what do we get? Negative 17x, is that right? Yay, it's right. And so therefore, we found the right combination. Okay. There's another way to factor. There is another way to factor. They call it the diamond method. Okay. Diamond method. Okay, I'm going to have to erase this. Okay. There's another way to factor. They call it the diamond method. Here is the diamond method. They do this for the diamond method. I'm going to factor this one, okay? The factors are already there, but I'm going to show you a different way. The first thing for the diamond method is I'm going to multiply a times C. A is two, C is negative nine. What's two times negative nine? Negative 18. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here, we have B. And if this is A and this is negative 9 is C, negative 17 is B. So negative 17 goes there. Now, find two values that multiply to negative 18 but add up to negative 17. 1 times 18 is 18. See, we almost have it. But 1 times 18 is 18. I need 1 times a number to be negative 18. So I'm going to make 1 times 18. I'm going to make this negative. So now 1 times negative 18 is negative 18. So that works. And 1 plus negative 18 is negative 17. So that's the right combination. This is the diamond method. Now, I am going to come back to this. Don't forget, this is negative 17 came from outer plus inner, okay? So this was two numbers. Don't forget, this negative 17, if you note here, is outer plus inner gave me negative x. That was the middle term. The middle term is outer plus inner, okay? If you go back up here to my left, you see this negative x? Negative x is negative 9x plus 8x. So this middle term, this middle term is always outer and inner, two terms. So this middle term is two terms. Okay, don't forget that. Now, go back to the diamond method. So once you find the two values that multiply to AC but add up to B, what you do is you split, you split 
the middle term into two terms, just like, just like originally the way it was. Okay? You split negative 17x into two terms. Okay? And you're going to use these numbers found. So here we have 2x squared, and this negative 17x is going to be right here. If you look my left, my left, negative 17x, this negative 17 is right there. Okay, those two numbers add up to negative 17. So I'm going to use this negative 18, negative 18x, and this one on my left plus 1x minus 9. So you split, you split the middle term into two terms. Actually, you're, it's like you're going backwards, look. Okay. And now you group and factor. Group. and factor. So I'm gonna group the first two, and what do the first two have in common? 2x. 2x times what? Times x gives me 2x squared, and 2x times what gives me negative 18x? Minus nine. And then you group the next two. And what do the next two have in common? A one. Now, what does the, this expression and this expression have in common? X minus nine. So I'm gonna take out an X minus nine x minus 9, you can take it out to your left or you can take it out to your right. If you take out an x minus 9, what's left behind in that house? This 2x is left behind plus a 1. And you get the same thing as what we have here. Okay, guys. All right. I'm getting tired now. Okay. Been at it for more than an hour. Way more than that. For this class. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's do let's do one more. Okay. Actually, guys. We're gonna do one more, and I wanna write it here. This is section five, four, five, five, and five, six. Okay, five, four, five, five, and five, six. Okay, let's do one more. Let's factor the following. We're going to factor this one, everybody. We're going to factor... Factor. Negative 6x squared. Minus 57xy minus 72y squared. Okay, I want you guys to remember this. The first step in factoring is the greatest common factor, everybody. So 
the GCF greatest common factor. I'm going to take out the greatest common factor from all three terms. Okay. What does negative 6, negative 57, and negative 72 have in common? Does a 6 go to the 57? No. No. So not negative, not 6. How about 3? Does 3 goes into 6? Yes. 3 goes into 57? Yes. And 3 goes into 72? Yes. So 3 is common to all of them. But look, they also have they all have negatives. Okay, so I'm gonna take out a negative 3 from all of them. Can I take out an X? No, because this does not have an X. Can I take out a Y? No, because this term does not have an, a Y. That's, that's all I can take out. So I take out the animal minus three, and then my house is left behind, okay? If you take out a negative three from six, what's left behind? A two and an X squared, okay? If you take out, if you take out a three from negative 57, what's left behind? Shall we say, <clears throat> uh, what's left behind? A plus, is it 17? I think so. Yes, 17, x, y. We better make sure. What's three times seven? Actually, it's 19, right? It's 19, yes, 19. I'm gonna make sure. What's three times nine? 27, there it is, takes two. What's three times one? That's three plus two is five, that's it. If you take out a three from 72, what's left behind? Mm. Is that, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Is it 26? 24 maybe, try 24. Plus 24 Y squared. We better check what's negative three times four. Let's, let's forget about the negative. What's three times four? 12 takes one. What's three times two? Six plus one, seven, there it is. So that's correct, okay. Now, I am gonna factor the rest, nope. First step in factoring is you take out the greatest common factor, okay? Now, I'm gonna try the rest. That's negative three, and we know that this is the product of two binomials. That's my first binomial, and that's my second binomial. You see this first? This first, here is going to be x times 2x for first. You see this last? Oh, no. This last is going to be, you, you can try different values. Can I try 3y times 8y for last? Because it's positive and this positive are both positives. Both additions. Okay. So now let's check. X times 2x, 2x squared, got it. 3y times 8y, 24y squared, got it. How about outer? What's outer? Hey, look at this. 
Outer is what? Outer is 8xy. What's inner? This is outer, guys. Outer. What's inner? Inner is 6xy. That's inner. When you add them up, what do you get? 14xy. Is that right? No, because we need a 19xy. So this is not the right combination. No problem. Change the 3y and the 8y. Make this one an 8y and make this one a 3y. Okay? And try it again. This is trial and error. All right, let's see. First, x times 2x, 2x squared, got it. First works. Last, 8y times 3y, 24y squared, got it. Okay. Now let's see if outer and inner work. What's outer? X times 3Y. What is that? 3XY. Inner. 8Y times 2X. What is that? 16XY. Add them up. And we get 19XY. Is that right? Yay! Yes, it is right. And we found the right combination. And so therefore, we have factor, okay? All right. All right, good class. Okay. Uh, let me take one here. All right, guys. Uh, Today we did section 5.4, 5.5, and 5.6, okay? Watch this lecture. You have enough now to do section 5.4, 5.5, 5, and 5.6, okay? Uh, please keep up with your homework. Do your homework, guys. Please do your homework, okay? There is online tutoring at school. It's online. Okay, you have to look it up at the school website. They should have it. Okay, and uh, we should be having an exam soon. I said that we should be having an exam next Tuesday, okay? Uh, we'll confirm that tomorrow, okay? All right, good class. You guys have a nice day, okay? And... Take care. Okay, guys? Bye.